Hi, Peter. How are you doing? Thank you for checking there. Very good, thanks. Um, so, tomorrow's going to be your 106th cap, but first time playing a, a test in South Africa, that one's been a while coming around, isn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah, yeah. Um, missed the tour in 16, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we, I was only speaking with a few lads last night. There hasn't been many of us play a test in, uh, in South Africa. Um, so, and even talking to some of the young fellas, you know, sometimes you can give them a bit of advice of what it's going to be like, but there's there's very few of us can do that. Um, I don't think anyone's played in this ground against South Africa. Um, does it help, though, that a lot of you will have played here over the last couple of years in the URC, just even just experiencing the general conditions and the altitude and things like that? Um, look, uh, I think it helps. You've been in the in the in the stadium before, but I think this, you know international rugby is different uh, to URC. Uh, there's no point in, in in saying otherwise. You know, it's it's a different a different animal, different intensity, and. Um, you know, you're going to have a different type of crowd. Um, you know, it's a big occasion for South Africa coming back here for the first time since winning the World Cup. First test back here. So, you know, um, I'd imagine it's going to be an incredible, incredible atmosphere for, for everyone. The Loftus you would have played in, in April for, for Munster will probably be a very different Loftus tomorrow. Yeah, that, 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 that was kind of the base of my answer. I don't think it's going to be comparable. It's going to be the same ground, but it's, it'll be a different animal. Um, and just funny then for me, Jamie Osborne was a cold of the boot for a lot of people, I think, coming in at, at full back. But he's been around squads for, for a couple of years. What have you seen from him in, in his development and how ready do you think he is now to take that step up? Yeah, very patient, um, you know, very understated kid. Um, obviously, de delivering incredibly well for, for Leinster over the last, you know, however many seasons. Um, uh, one of the lads presented him his jersey last night and he said it was kind of, it wasn't, if it was kind of when the cap was going to come from, when he was one of these guys, you know, just really, really cool, calm, um, wants to learn, um, you know, top class professional at, a, at an early age. So, um, yeah, you know, you said people were shocked. I don't think anyone in our squad was, was shocked at it. The fact he's been around so long, Peter, is that a grounding of being in the squad and knowing you guys so well? How, how well does that prepare you for you know, such a, a big test in, in, in his development, a big step in his career? Yeah, look, it, it helps usually. You know, I think <clears throat> Andy, over the year, you've seen as, as, as named squads and he's brought in guys in and out at different times, you know, to get guys experience. And, and that'll stand to Jamie. He's been in a, f a good few times now. Um, spent a lot of time with us and... and you know, it just makes you more familiar with guys, more comfortable. Um, you know, I think you, know, you you play for someone more when you know him better. And, and he's been around long enough now to know us well enough to, for it to really matter to him. Uh, you know, obviously it matters to everyone to play for Ireland, but you know, playing for the group alongside you means a huge amount. And um, you know, he, he'll have a great. Uh, I'm I'm sure he'll have a great feeling of support from us over the last um, few days, certainly, and and since he's coming to camp. Any other uh, TV questions? Uh, Peter, obviously, two very experienced packs tomorrow. Um, especially in test match rugby, everybody talks about the fact that it's always fast up front and with the safeties. How important is that going to be to the final for both teams in terms of being able to give that sort of physical edge and give the platform for the back line to get going? Yeah, look, I think you kind of summed up your, your answer and your question there. Um, you know, it's 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 unbelievably important part of, of test rugby and of any game of rugby, really, is set piece. and. Um, you know, we'll be competing with with probably the best set piece in the world tomorrow. And, um, you know, that, that's a great challenge for us. Um, you know, you know, you know, as I said, what a challenge. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a huge opportunity for us to try and show what we're about and, um, you know, try and try and contain, as I said, one of the one of the best set pieces in the world. A couple of changes to the Springbok coaching staff, and we saw a little bit of a change in the way they play um, against Wales. Has this been very much sort of focusing on yourselves, or has this been a bit of attention on what you might be able to see from tomorrow? And do you expect to see a couple of changes from the way the Springbok might play tomorrow? You know, we always do our analysis. You know, it's 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 very much about us. Uh, test match week always, but you know, we we give the utmost respect to our opposition in, in the analysis that we do. And you know, Tony Brown coming in to to. The South African background team, obviously, with with, with Fla, um, 
we certainly had a look at what they what they did against Wales, but you know, we only one test in, so it's it's hard to predict what's coming. But I don't think they're going to go away from you know what they're incredibly incredibly good at. Obviously, world champions for a reason, and and you know that base for their game isn't going to change. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few new things and 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 things they'll throw in curveballs for us, but that's that's test rugby, and that's that's what you have to adapt to. Thanks, Craig. Last question. This section. Um, I know a lot of great men have been played since that game in Paris, but have you gone back specifically to that game because you lost I think, four or five lineouts fairly early in the game, a couple of set, uh, scrum penalties? Have you gone and looked at the specific problems that occurred in that game against the Springbok? Yeah, of course we have. We've, we, we we always review our games, um, and obviously we've had a tournament since then, so um, we've certainly gone back and and, and looked at that, and um, you know, try to fix some of those issues, and 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 you know, you, you know, a huge part of of Test rugby is is picking up lessons and learnings, and 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 fixing things, and trying to keep them fixed is is the important thing, not just having them fixed for for a couple of games and letting them sneak back in. So. Um, yeah, certainly we, we, we did a huge amount of, of looking back before the Six Nations over that. Okay, that's it for the TV live section um, and the rest is embargoed now until tomorrow.